Welcome to Teaching Tips. My name is Kim Holland and I'm the Instructional Designer in the Teaching Support Center. Today's teaching tip is on using formulas in Excel to calculate students' final grades. I'm going to quickly show you several examples from simple to more complex formulas in Excel. I have been using spreadsheet software for decades, from the days of VisiCalc, to assist me with my class grades. I don't know what I would do without the ability of a program like Excel to help me calculate hundreds of students' final grades. I hope you find this teaching tip useful. In this sample class, the students' grades were composed of a midterm, an essay, and a final exam. Each of these were graded out of 100%. To calculate a final grade, if each of these components has equal weight, one would type in, highlight the cell, click in it, type in the equal sign, type a bracket, and then we're going to take the value of the midterm plus the value of the essay plus the value that we have in the uh, final exam, another bracket to close it. And then we'll take those values, which would represent a value out of 300. So we want a final grade out of 100, so we're going to divide by 3. And then we hit re the return key, and we have a calculated final grade for Tom Apple here of 73.666 repeated. If we want to take this formula and replicate it through the student list, we select the, we select the, the value here, which is the formula, and we see that the cursor goes to a plus sign. We pull that down, and it's, this formula is going to be replicated throughout the whole list, reflecting the values for each of these students in the appropriate column over here. Notice I have a uh, test student where the test student uh, has a perfect score 100, 100, 100. I always do this when I calculate a formula just to make sure my formula is correct and you can see that if a student got perfect on all the assignments I would expect that their final grade would also be would be 100 percent so there it is calculated 100 percent. One final step I want a final grade here that is a whole number, not a fraction. So I'll, I will take this column and format it, those cells, and the number, instead of two decimal points, I will make it zero decimal points, and there is their final grades calculated. In this second class, this class has five components representing their final grade. A first test, second test, midterm, essay, and final exam. Test one and test two were each graded out of 10. The midterm, essay, and final exam were each graded out of 100. In this class, each of these five components is equally weighted to calculate their final grade. In other words, the 100 marks for a final grade, the components of 20 marks were given to each of these five components. To calculate uh, a final grade with a formula, in this particular case, we're going to start a formula with an equal sign, and then we'll have a bracket. We'll take the value of test number one, and because it was graded out of 10, we want to make it out of 20. We're going to take that mark and multiply it by 2. So asterisk 2, closing bracket. And then we're going to take the value of test number 2, multiply it by 2, closing bracket, 
and then we're going to take the value of the midterm and since the midterm was marked out of 100 we want to convert it to a mark of 20 so if we multiply that by 0.2 and yeah, we'll do that Likewise, a value of the SA and multiply it by 0.2 plus the value of the final exam and multiply it by 0.2. So now we have a formula that takes the value of the first test, multiplies it by 2, second test multiplies it by 2, the midterm, the essay, and the final exam, and multiply it by 0.2. So we should get a value of 100. That's a perfect score. We're going to take this formula and replicate it downwards and just to test to make sure the formula is correct I'm going to put in a perfect score for the test student and yes the test student has a perfect score the final one I want to take the final grades and again format cells zero decimal points and there we have a final grade as a whole number in my third class here We have test 1 and test 2 each graded out of 10, the midterm essay and final exam each graded out of 100, but in this case the final mark is calculated where test 1 is worth 10%, test 2 is worth 10%, the midterm is worth 20% of the course, the essay is worth 25, and the final exam is worth 35. To calculate a formula in this particular case, we again click in the first student cell begins with an equal sign and then I'm going to begin with a bracket and in this particular case since um, the first test was graded out of 10 and it represents 10 percent of their final grade I'm just going to click on it the second test the same thing I'm going to add those two together then I'm going to add in bracket the uh, the midterm and since the midterm was marked out of 100 and I want to make it out of 20 I'm going to convert the 100 to a value of 20 so if I multiply that by 0.2 and then add in the next component which is the essay and since the essay was marked out of 100 and it's worth 25 percent of the final grade if I multiply that 100 by 0.25 plus the uh, final exam and since the final exam is worth was marked out of 100 and has a value of 35 if I multiply it by 0.35 and then one final bracket to close everything up so, since I began with a bracket and I take again the formula and pull down replicate that formula throughout the whole list we end up with the uh, final grades and my test student here again with the perfect marks 
again has a mark 100 so my formula is correct I'm now going to format those cells so decimal point zero to whole numbers Excel is a great program for calculating student grades and you can see even though this is a small class if my class had hundreds of students I can easily replicate the formula through hundreds of students and the, the spreadsheet does all the arithmetic for me. This is a fantastic device. Thank you very much for listening and I hope that you found this teaching tip useful.